What's it been like only having about, what, 10 offensive linemen? Is it just more reps? Are you guys a little bit tired because you don't have a lot of guys that you're competing with? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been difficult. It's been fun, though. Uh, all the guys are bought into it. I mean, we all know we all know it's a problem ahead right now. And Coach Davis is just telling us, you know, push through. You got to be you got to be a hard body. You got to be tough about it. Uh, you're adding more reps on our guys, but I mean, it's, it's life. It's, it's the game. So we just got to push through for those three months until we get some some more guys to add some depth in the room. Does it help that you guys, a lot of y'all are saying that y'all are in way better shape, way better strength and conditioning. Uh, do you feel that and that kind of helps y'all kind of push, be able to push through? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's making us all more confident. Uh, all of our guys are having to play different positions. Uh, we're all having to get comfortable at left side and right side. So I feel like it's doing nothing but making us better, making us more tough. Like you said, uh, giving us some, some juice. So, How have you seen your game grow? Uh, honestly, I just, I just see myself, you know, getting better every day. Uh, I see myself getting more of the player that I want to be, uh, you know, obviously at the next level. I see myself uh, making adjustments, things like that, just moving better, moving my body better. I mean, I just feel like I'm getting better as a football player. What did you take away most from your impressive freshman campaign? Uh, took away that I can block anybody, you know, anybody. If I got the right technique, if, I got the, if I'm in the right spots, you know, I can block anybody in the league. And, you know, you're a sophomore this year, but do you really feel like a sophomore up here? You had big games last year, games against Tennessee, Bama, SEC title game. You got a lot of experience. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I don't feel like a sophomore. I feel like, you know, one of the older guys, one of the leaders in the room. So, uh, you know, one big thing Coach has just been telling me and Will is uh, lead the room. You know, lead the guys that are going to go as far as you want them to go. So, you know, we've been taking that, you know, we've been taking that on the chin and just kind of trying to lead the whole room. So I definitely feel like an older guy right now. In a couple of months, you're going to have, of course, those health, get healthier and then a new batch come in June. Like you, didn't graduate at midterm. Lance Hurd wants to come in. Uh, what is he going to be up against? What advice would you give him once he finally gets here? Uh, the advice that I would give him is just come in and, you know, take coaching. You know, everybody, you, you're not going to come in the best guy. You're not going to come in like you were in high school, just stronger than everybody. So uh, just take coaching, uh, be open to everything that they're telling you, and, you know, get better like we're all doing. Yeah, not not too many programs can say they started two true freshmen at, at tackles. I mean, do you and, and Will ever you know re reflect on just how much success y'all had last year? Not at all. Uh, we don't really got time to do that. We're going next year. We're trying to win a national championship. Year after that, we're trying to win another one. So, never got time to really just sit down and you know accept that you know all that happened. That's that's in the past now. You know, we're looking forward and trying to win a national championship. And kind of building off that, did it make it a little easier that you had another tackle on the opposite side of the line going through the same situation, freshman, learning? Most definitely, just because of, I feel like we both were going through the same things at all the time. Like, if I lost to some, you know, I will probably lost to it. If he lost to some, I probably lost to it before. So it's just kind of helping each other, telling each other tips and things like that to get better and, you know, win reps. And I feel like uh, all year we did that, and that helped us both. So. Have you been getting any reps with special teams in this early part of camp? Uh, no, nah, they took me off. They took me off point. I wanted to go make another tackle, but they took me off uh, okay. this year. So yeah, just just field goal blocking. That's it. What have you noticed, kind of, from that field goal blocking um, from Jancic coming in, and what has he kind of done differently compared to last year? Uh, I mean, they kind of changed our technique, like as far as uh, our hands, things like our hands being down, our feet being in lock, stuff like that. Just changing those little tweaks that are going to take our game and our our unit to the next level. And then it seems like there's a lot more voices involved in all the little finer parts. Does that make it easier to comprehend everything, or is it hard? Yeah, I definitely feel like it makes it easier just because you got a guy like you. We got Coach Davis running it now for the O line, and it just like it makes it more hands on. It makes it more. He 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 talks more in our language, so we kind of all understand it more and understand our assignments a little better. And then um, from the running back standpoint, um, kind of don't have Armani or. Um, Emery, but you have Noah Kane, you've got a guy like Trey Holly. And what have you kind of seen from them pushing each other in these early stages? Uh, honestly, them guys are running hard. You know, they, they make it easy to block for them. Uh, when you got a guy running behind you, hard as he wants, and he wants to go score a touchdown every time he gets the ball, I mean, it makes you want to, you know, make that happen for him. So definitely, the guys just running hard and, you know, making it easy for us. And then finally, um, we heard a lot about the defensive line and how good they were last year. Um, now there's new faces there, maybe not as much hype. Mm. Does do you guys as an offensive line kind of use that to, I don't know, maybe take back that competition between y'all in practice? Uh, I mean, I feel like it's still competitive. I mean, we see those guys every day. I mean, we're just talking. You know, he might, a guy might win a rip the day before, and you just think about that for that whole day. Or, and you got to, I mean, we don't have back-to-back -back practice, so it's like practice a day, then practice again. So you think about that that whole, that whole day in the middle of, you know, the two practices. So, I mean, it definitely is still competitive. 
Uh, we still got some great guys across the line who are technicians at what they do. So definitely a battle and definitely a competition every day. Emory, it, it kind of went viral. Uh, uh, play for years last year versus you and Will Anderson. It's a play that uh, Josh Williams broke a tackle and you got a first down. I guess going and taking those first team reps against this guy's going to be a top three pick. I guess now that you're kind of out of it, you're in spring, off seasons happen. How do you feel now going in there with that kind of confidence going against that kind of talent? Uh, like I said earlier, I mean, we're just, just going on to the next year, uh, not worried about those guys and competition from the last, worry about these new guys because there's always somebody coming from the bottom. Uh, so I feel like we just got to worry about the new guys we're going against. I mean, we got next year we got uh, Florida State and they, who got a good end at Jerry Verse. So, I mean, we, me and Will were watching film on him already, just trying to see the little things that he did, little tweaks and stuff that we can do that give us an edge on him. So, one more frame right, guys? Thank you.